Our step logic is basically our series of events that's going to be used to control this machine. So you must have a good idea of how the machine functions and how you're going to program it to function. You are the programmer. You have the choice of controlling the actuators in whatever sequence you desire. As a programmer, it is up to you to determine your sequence of events. So, just like we did earlier in our Excel project, we're going to copy these labels. I'm going to bring them down a little bit, and then I'm going to paste them. And we're going to start with our next available binary word of information that's available. So we use B3 colon 1 slash 15. So the next available word of information is B3 colon 2. Okay, so I'll go ahead and type that now. B3 colon 2 slash 0 and I hit the enter command. Now I'm going to go ahead and auto fill by clicking and dragging and holding until I get to 15 because there are 16 bits in this word again. The status is the same as a zero. I'll click on status and then drag this down. And now we have those all filled as well. So I chose to use the word B3 colon 2 zero to start off my step logic programming that I'm going to use. And I've already determined what I feel is the best sequence of events so I'm just going to go ahead and start recording them. Okay, and again with a symbol, no spaces. So we do an underscore and I'm going to do step zero. So step zero is initialize. And basically step zero initializes the process that gets us all started. So the next step then is going to be step one. And again, underscore one. And the beauty of this is now that we can just go ahead and autofill these as well all the way down. So we have step 15 all the way down there if we need it. So step one is going to be extend the base cylinder. Step two is going to be extend the inspection cylinder. Step three is going to be to retract the inspection cylinder. And notice these are all descriptions. They can be as long as they need to be. So step four is to retract the base cylinder. So our next step is step five, and that is extend the pusher cylinder Next step is step six, which is retract the pusher cylinder. And now we're on step seven, and step seven is extend the rejection cylinder. Step eight is to retract the rejection cylinder. And finally step nine is all the steps that have completed previously and we're going to call that reject cycle complete. Okay now the key that's important to note here is that step zero is initialize. Notice that step one is also going to be step one of our process. So step two is also step two of our process. Step three is retracting the inspection cylinder. So the bit number here on the address lines up with the step. So bit zero lines up with step zero. Bit one lines up with step one. Bit two lines up with step two. Bit three, step three bit four, step four, and on throughout your program. So notice that we have many more available steps that we could program, but for this first portion of this BIOS, we are only going to be programming it so that it will reject the part.